Much plastic, if it is not recycled, ends up in the global rubbish bins that we also call our oceans. In a moment, we will talk solutions, but first, Martha Dixon has been to Penzance to find out how they've been given an award for being plastic free. I'm with um, Hugo Tagholm. He's from the charity Surfers Against Sewage. We're walking along a beautiful stretch of beach that uh, goes between Penzance and St Michael's Mount. Uh, Hugo, tell me how the town of Penzance achieved the status of plastic free. Well, we're delighted for Penzance that they've achieved the first plastic free status in the country. And this unites individuals with businesses, with schools, with local council leaders to work collectively to reduce their single use plastic footprint. Things like straws, plastic bags, water bottles, all sorts of things that we can phase out of our communities to protect our beaches and protect our oceans. Well, there are two main streets in the centre of Penzance. Older Georgian hotels and pubs sit alongside Victorian shop fronts and modern cafes and galleries. So how did the businesses here go plastic free? Well, I've just come into the Cornish Hen Deli and it's packed with customers and also with beautiful things on the counter. We've got olives, we've got all sorts of pies, homerty pie. Uh, Sarah Shaw, you run the Cornish Hen. Tell me how you've managed to go plastic free. Well, we've tried everything we can to look at the different ways we do things. If we do catering jobs, we try to use, bi well, we always use the biodegradable plates unless it's china. Wooden cutlery um, and the pots that our food goes out in, salads or olives, are all biodegradable. So when a customer asks us how long will the goods last, we say actually it's the pot that won't last because it'll biodegrade in your fridge. So transfer everything you've got into a, a pot from home um, and then it'll last for you know a, a good while in the fridge. I think it's really important, particularly as we're a seaside town, um, that we do as much as we can to help the environment because we're so aware of what the environment is. 14 businesses in Penzance have so far signed up and four more are coming soon. It's not everyone, but organisers of the scheme, the environmental group Surfers Against Sewage, say it's all about getting the ball rolling. So what do the locals think? Well, it's amazing. I, yeah, I love Penzance. Penzance is a classic and it's often leading the way one way or another. Good idea. I think we need to stop using so much plastic. I think it's quite visible in Cornwall because we see all the plastic washed up on the beaches. I mean, I know it's not plastic free, but it's a really good step in the right direction. Yeah, it's a good thing for anywhere that achieves plastic free, Never, not just Penzance, but everywhere else as well. If, they, if Penzance is the first, hopefully lots of other places will follow suit. Penzance residents ending that report by Martha Dixon.